G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup and product review for this one. We're going to take a look at Manjaro Linux. Now, this isn't a Linux I know anything about, other than hearing about it on English Bob's uh, YouTube channel and Sudo's YouTube channel. That's all I know. We're going to take a look at Manjaro XFCE 7805 for this one. And I thought, well, we'd give it the backyard IT treatment and have a bit of a sticky beak. Let's get into it. So here is our Manjaro XFCE 1705 virtual platform. We've got 4 gig of RAM, dual core Xeon 3.4 gig CPU and a 120 gig thin provisioned hard drive. Let's see what happens here. Um, hopefully it's a, it's a nice Linux distro. Don't forget, also coming up today, we've got uh, English Bob's Ubuntu product review as all also a um, IT acquisitions video coming up later as well. Also, don't forget the live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, ooh, well, this is a bit different, isn't it? All right, so we'll definitely take that. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Pac-Man keyring. So it's picked up VM tools, which is really good. All right, wow. Okay, this is this is different. Let's go straight for the install. Nice desktop. Very nice desktop. All right, language. Uh, no, it's going to be English US. We'll just have to leave it as that. Uh, no, I am not in America. Australia. Melbourne. Uh, yep. Raise the disk. Next. Okay. MJS. Okay. All right. So, let's see what this is all about. That looks good. That all looks good. It creates... Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, I'm not worried about that now. Install now. Unsquash. You can even go down and change the kernel. Wow. I suppose if you're an advanced user and you want to make mods to it, you probably could. So far, very nice, bright GUI front end, though. So not too bad at the moment. Okay, so we've got Octopi and Pac-Man as well as the original command line option. Now Pac-Man Package Manager. I've got to be honest, I've never heard of that. That 
that's a that that's a new one to me. We'll uh, we'll see what we've got in this system. I've got, to, I, I, I've got to be honest with you I really hope the rest of the week is better than the beginning of the week It actually looks very nice. See, this is the other thing too. I'd love it if you, and, and this is just the open BSD person talking in me. I'd really love it if you could get this XFCE desktop for open BSD straight out of the repository. I know it's probably won't happen with the system D and everything, but I actually prefer this type of XFCE look and feel um to the just the standard xfce4 that comes with um with uh open bsd oh, i suppose i could probably install it um if i can get the right um window managers and that finished I hope and we're done all right so not too bad on the install five or six minutes or so so that 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 I'm happy with we'll just go with the auto boot hardware clocks out that doesn't surprise me <laughs> <coughs> All right. As usual, it has not uh, set the resolution correct. Oh no, there it goes. Okay. Right. So let's let's have a hunt around at what we've actually. I think we better set up that. Um, dark isn't it that one will do it no it's a bit dark too I'm trying to find a nice desktop that we can use that one will do it all right let's uh let's fix up that resolution a little bit <sighs> always does this doesn't it Okay, that's a bit better. All right, so let's go. Whoa, time's out of whack. Hang on a minute. I oh, will get into that. I can tell you now, it's not ten past seven at night. It is clearly actually. I think we better set that properly. Where's the Raj gone? Um, 
let's let's have a look at HTOP. I like HTOP being installed straight away. So we're just using short of half a gig of RAM from 3.85 gig, nothing in the swap that's good. Uh, one core of the dual core CPU, not too bad. All right, let's go and see what we've got. So under accessories, there's a fair bit there actually. We've got another HP device manager, mouse pad, show clocks, there's a Raj global time, Thuna file manager, obviously XF burn, which is pretty common with XFCE. Under education, LibreOffice Math. Games, Steam there by default for the gamers, so that's that's nice. Graphics, we've got Imp, Draw, and View Noir. Internet, we have Firefox. Let's go and see what version of Firefox you get at, straight out of the box before you update. Obviously, Pigeon, Pigeon Steam again, and Thunderbird. Multimedia. VLC in by default as well as Pulse Audio. We've got Audacious and obviously XF Burn. Office, full LibreOffice 5, including QPDF. Now that's nice. Global Time, Calendar, fairly good as well as uh, Databases. Okay, that's nice. Other applications, we've got the VMware User Agent there, so that's nice. It automatically knew it was on VM. Let's go and have a look at some of the software that's available. We'll minimise that off the bat. Bring up the menu bar. About Firefox. You get 5503 out of the box. So that's nice. Reasonably current. Nice friendly layout to it. I do prefer the, the, the slightly more 3D looking um, thingos. Package manager is not working because the time and date are out by a mile, so we'll go and fix that off the bat. All right. Um, that's better. So that's got the time right now, which is right, it's quarter past nine. Thursday morning, let's go have a look at some of the... Uh, has it not got network? It does not have network, by the looks of it. Uh, that's clip man. This does not have network. Oh, now it has network. Oi, that, that's a bit... Repositories are not kicking up for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's, um... Let's bring up Firefox again. That's working now, so why is the package manager not working? Uh, system. Ah, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's, oh, it doesn't really want to work. Well, we'll go and have a sticky beak and see what's available. So Firefox. Okay, oop, no, I don't want to remove it. Okay, so there's updates available. That's not too bad, actually. I quite like this. Um, Thuna File Manager, very nice. Um, what terminal do we get? We get a QT5 configuration tool. I'm looking for the damn terminal. Oh, we get so we get standard XFCE. That's 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 not too bad. It's pretty good. I like the fact that HTOP's in there by default, so that's nice. It's actually quite a nice little distribution. Screenshot. 
Task Manager. So 11% of the memory is not too bad. 123 processors running. It's pretty good. It's actually quite nice. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. It is actually. Let's see what the network does. We know we've been having trouble with the network here. As I was uh, talking to a friend this morning, informing him that uh, the D240 on the E server decided to have a proc error on it. In other words, the onboard proc wasn't allowing access to the drives. Pretty nice going to the ETC. Good oh, jeez. Yeah, I didn't think it'd like it. I'm having trouble with the network here today. Wow. Well, that is. Ah, uh, there's Samba. Let's go and have a look at samba.com. So, yes, it is Samba 4. That's good for people who need Samba sharing, like myself. And where's, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. So that's nice, very nice. It's actually a nice little distribution. It's clean, it's neat. One thing that I probably don't like is I'd like to be able to reverse this. I probably can reverse it in the, um, what's his name? We're going to have a look at the default web browser. Ah, it is Firefox, okay. Yeah, I would prefer, I, can, I know I can change this in the desktop settings. I know that. But it's actually very nice. Very, very nice little, uh, I'm going to have a look at the VM user agent if it fires up. Well, I probably won't because I'm, I'm having issues this morning. Uh, oh boy, there's an uh, appearance. That's nice. Settings. That's actually very, very nice. Very nice indeed. I do like this. Um, definitely, you definitely be able to use it as a uh, daily driver. There's no question about that. No question whatsoever. Um, excellent, excellent um, version. I just want to check something quickly. So we are on kernel 4.9. That's good. Very nice. Well, there we go. Manjirio Linux. XFCE 1705, and it's actually very, very nice. Go and have a look at it for yourself, see what you think about it, but I'm actually quite impressed. Um, not one of my favourites, but it's a very well laid out Linux. It's extremely quick to boot, very quick to boot, and uh, very, very nice indeed. Go and have a look at Pulse Audio. Okay, so he's running Pulse Audio. There's our calendar, which is nice. You get two workspaces by default. And I think that's rubbish bin, is it? No, restore minimized windows. Fair enough. Well, there we go. Manjirio Linux XFCE 1705. Go and have a look at it for yourselves. Stick around. Plenty more coming up. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.